My name is Cecily Devereaux. I'm chair of the Department of English and Film Studies at the University of Alberta. This is a message for our English and Film Studies graduates on your convocation day, June 12, 2020. Even though you don't have the chance to participate in the usual convocation ceremony, this day is nonetheless a real occasion for real celebration. Today, all of us in EFS are celebrating your achievements, your successes, your brilliant creative writing, your amazing contributions to this department, your strong and vibrant community. We've all been where you are today, finally finished the degree, on the brink of new things, but none of us until you has had that experience in the context of a global pandemic and in the midst of vital international protest of racial injustice. None of us has had to finish our degrees as you have this year when the university shifted to remote delivery. It has been a challenging time for you, but you, all the graduates of 2020, stand to make change together. Use your words, share your ideas, be critical. We're so proud of what you've done in your studies here. We're so grateful to have had the chance to work with you. Good luck EFS grads and congratulations. I'm Mark Simpson, uh, Associate Chair of Graduate Studies in the Department of English and Film Studies at the U of A. At convocation on Friday, two of our doctoral students will graduate with a PhD, Matthew Cormier and Adam Carlson. Two more students, Shana Humble and Billy Ray Belcourt, have defended this spring and will convoke with a PhD next fall. These doctoral students join nine of their graduate student colleagues who convocated last fall, two with the MA, Duncan Hebnick and Chris Hosker, and seven with the PhD, Neil Barnholden, Jordan Kinder, Kurt Pabst, Natalia Pestareva, Conrad Scott, Laura Sedora, and Angela Van Essen. With thesis projects on a remarkable constellation of topics, from early ethnography and contemporary Inuit cultural production to the politics of petroturfing, from feminist Irish periodicals to the conspiracy of Indian joy, from value in American comics to eco-critical dystopias, and from bilingual Cree English poetry to Orientalism in Russian culture to class struggle in critical theory, our students have produced deeply original scholarship that brings lasting intellectual vitality to our graduate programs and to our departmental community. We are so very grateful. And I'm Catherine Binhammer, Associate Chair Undergraduate Programs, and I want to congratulate all 81 undergraduate students who are convocating with a degree from English and Film Studies. Some of you are convocating with more than one degree from our program, and a remarkable 40% of you are convocating today with uh, either with distinction or with first class honors. Congratulations to you all. Uh, you're a, a remarkable group. I also want to congratulate Catherine DeCoste, who won the Rutherford Gold Medal in English. Uh, that the Rutherford Gold Medal has been awarded since 1911, and this is the first time it's been awarded in the middle of a pandemic. So congratulations, Catherine. I'm sad not to be at the Jubilee Auditorium today to greet you on the other side of the stage. It's one of the highlights of the academic calendar for me, and I miss it, and we all miss it. Uh, but I want to uh, encourage you all to take a photo of yourself and post it to EFS social media. Let's try and share and be here for each other virtually. And we are here today for you virtually. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Congratulations! Congratulations.